Oh, yeah, it feels great. Back to spring. I'm tired of the snow and ice. Oh, you're <laughs> more like Texas? Huh? I'm not quite like Texas. Texas. Not yet. Not, yet. <laughs> not quite. Not quite. Talk, just start us off with the new staff and, and how that transition's been going. Oh, I mean, it's great, really. I mean, just, just the change. Everybody's kind of scared of change, like I've been saying before. But, yeah, just got to get comfortable being uncomfortable and just, yeah, being more uh securing your you know area and stuff like that i mean the staff is great everybody's great i mean lost a few guys brought in some more people but you know everybody's just ready to work ready to continue the culture we have and just yeah how would you describe the last you know two plus months of your life as guys are leaving and coming and everything swirling around you what was that uh, like the scenes what was that like for you I mean, you know, some of those guys are, you know, my friends, teammates and stuff like that. So, you know, it's hard seeing guys leave, but, you know, always just wish them the best and just, you know, everyone's making a decision for their career. And, you know, we're all chasing goals since we were little kids. So, you know, we're taking those steps to whatever, whatever, whatever steps necessary to reach those goals. So, yeah, just wishing those guys the best. And I mean, yeah, that's really all I can say about yeah. the last two months. Every time I've talked to you, you've just talked about your loyalty and, and what it meant to be here and to stay. When so many people around you maybe want to be loyal, why did you decide to stay and lead us through that process for you? Uh, I mean, like I said, everybody was just chasing their dream and stuff like that. Everybody has their core values and loyalty was one of mine. So, yeah, I just stuck, stuck where I'm loved and where I want to play at. So. Was it a tough decision to make? Oh, no, no. not at all. No. Why not? Uh, like I said, I'm loved here, and like you said, loyalty is one of my core values. So I just, I just love this place. So it, like, it wasn't a really hard decision for me to be like, oh, do I want to leave or stay? I mean, I, I didn't even really try to make that decision. So, what was Trent's reaction, maybe, when you told him or when he found out you were staying? Uh, I mean, I kind of found out like the whole head coach thing same time he knew I was staying. I guess because he asked me if you know, he'd be the head coach, I stay. So yeah, I mean, I told him I'm here. I mean, you know, I was gonna be here either way. So. He found that I was staying. I found that he was head coach. I think it was just, just really just a real connection. I mean, like like I said, he wants to make, keep this place going. I want to keep this place going, keep the culture up, and just reach that college football playoff. So that's really the goal we want to keep going to, and that's what we're going to do. Got a new offensive coordinator, Coach Gunderson. What are your first uh, thoughts, your first impressions? Uh, I mean, he's real, like, I mean, he's for sure different than Coach Linger and, you know, the past uh, coaches and stuff. But he's, he's real, like, he's just – I don't know. He's cool. He's he's real chill. He's cool. He's he's real of a teacher, like he said. I think he put in one of his videos. He wants to come out as like a overcross as a teacher. He really is a really good teacher, and just you know, I don't know how to say it, but when it comes to teaching, he makes he makes learning fun and just makes you want to like yeah, just make he makes learning fun. So it makes you kind of want to do more and just bend away and just bend away and find like find our our rhythm and our offense so it's kind of helping in that way is there something exciting about a new coach and maybe changes to the system um exciting yeah i mean just just new opportunities and just doing new things i mean really that's all i can say about exciting so yeah what do you do you see yourself maybe maybe be more of a pass catcher i mean are you working on that for uh, i mean yeah i always want to you know especially at the next level i want to incorporate that into my game so i especially i need to put you know show that i can do that and become a good pass catcher out the backfield so i feel like yeah i need to do that i imagine there's a lot more teaching and learning going on right now yeah maybe your first two camps how quickly are guys picking it up and just what's it is that the truth the case is there a lot more yeah i mean for sure these first two practices you can see like it's kind of slower more controlled scripted uh practices i mean we're all kind of just everything's new like i said so we're just kind of getting used to it i mean i feel like we really got it kind of fast i mean o-line and receivers quarterbacks everyone's kind of clicking real well right now it seems like especially for the first two practices but yeah i mean we're going to continue to get better and just there's always room improvements to make so that's what we're going to do I, I spoke to coach gunderson a couple weeks ago about the offense and he says he wants to be up tempo and play tempo do you like that um as a, as a player i mean as a as a player you know you kind of just you do what you're told and as a coach because you know you want to do it do what's best for the team you know just to win games so I feel like as far as that I want to do that first and then I mean myself I, I, I'm with whatever I mean I want to score points and you know just make the best offense we can so, is it yeah. is it an easier offense so far to learn I that was mm. the other thing I'd heard that maybe some different yeah I mean for sure like it's not I wouldn't say like I guess I, it is easier I guess just because it's I don't know I guess I'm more of a the way our system is guys so yeah. just like that yeah do you have a handle on it now? Do you oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I, you... I kind of dove into it. I mean, going with Coach Ford and stuff like that. I, I'm really I'm more understanding. More understanding in, like, scheme and as far as what's going to happen, what blocks are happening. I'm way more in tune with this system than the last one.
And there's a lot more reads, right? For quarterback and all that off. You know? uh, for quarterback, I don't necessarily know, but for running, you know, I kind of, kind of all stick okay. to our position, just what we do. So, yeah, so everything's good. not much different for you, I guess. Yeah. Looking at those quarterbacks, I mean, you know, we all know we Brent Thin brings. What about Giovanni? What have you seen out of him? And just how would you assess that group right now? Uh, I mean, it's gonna be competition in that room, you know. Bringing in Giovanni, he could he played at what was it FCS I I, yeah, I FCS level. He played really good there. I know he can play. We, like you said, no Ben can play, so it's gonna be competition in there. I mean, Jabari, he's hurt right now, but he'll come back. Um, he'll, what's it called? Travis and uh, Dom. I mean, every, everyone in that room can throw. I mean, they're looking good right now. Coach Gundy's getting them right. I mean, they look good. So you know, it's only been the first two practices. We'll separate towards the end, I guess, and then fall camp will come. But, you know, it's, it's, they look good right now. It's going to be competition for sure. Do you kind of feel yourself evolving into more of a leadership kind of role right now? I mean, you're one of the old hats now. It's crazy yeah. <laughs> for you to yeah. Your head around. Yeah, it kind of seems like it really flew by. But, um, yeah, I mean, it kind of just taking on more of a vocal role. I feel like I have done that, especially through these, like, last seven weeks with workouts, winter workouts and stuff we had. Uh, I feel like, yeah, I have stepped up more vo vocal leader-wise. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's really all I think I needed. Yeah. Just to be clear, the story you told earlier about, so you heard that Bray was hired to coach. He told you. Or lead yeah, like, that story. Like, the, like the day before we had this team meeting. So, so the day yeah. before he, you found out, he was, was that, did he call you? Were you in his office? Or oh, where, I got a call, yeah. You got a call. Okay, so you just had a phone call. And mm -hmm. He said, I'm just the coach, are you going to stay kind of a yeah. thing? And you're like, no, I'm out. No, <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. I mean, yeah, basically. Okay.